Hello and welcome everybody, this is Afrilia and thank you for watching this video about NBA 2K14 My Career Big Man and as promised the playoffs are coming up but first the regular season rewards. Uh, as you can see I became a rookie of the uh, year but nothing else. <laughs> Actually Kevin Durant became the MVP. Dwight Howard was a defensive player of the year, but I made the NBA third team and the all defensive uh, team, and of course I led also the all rookie first team. So that means that I finished uh, my first season pretty well, I guess, uh, considering that this is my rookie year, and also considering that in this uh, year's game, I'm sure you've noticed it, uh, if you sim through at least like 40 matches or 40 games in your season then uh, you at least in your first season don't have any chance of uh, becoming anything but uh, rookie of the year maybe if you had uh, good uh, matches because you will have uh, really bad simulated games just like I did I had uh, my best results were well, during the award races were uh, like uh, fifth place in uh, the MVP race and uh, like fourth in the defensive player but uh, after that all the matches that I had were really bad uh, the simulated matches so like the best was like 18 points the worst one was like uh, 4 points or something like that so then there is a just a heads up, don't sim games because it, I'm at least if you want to become a MVP or defensive player of the game or of the year. But enough about that, let's go to the first round of the playoffs, of course, as the first seed. Uh, we got into the playoffs alright, and uh, we met uh, the New York Knicks. Yes, I did sim through. Uh, I mean, seem two key games, so we are now actually down 3-2, and uh, our match uh, started out pretty bad. A lot of, uh, yeah, just look at that, <laughs> a lot of alley dunks, especially from uh, J.R. Smith, and a lot of missed shots from our part. So we are going head to head, but it really seemed like a tough match uh, until about the first uh, quarter when. Uh, when nice things started to happen. <laughs> uh, first of all, I believe it was my like the first contact dunk that I ever had in my uh, career. So things were starting to look up. Uh, it doesn't show on the on the scoreboard yet, but uh, this is when uh, the game started to look like we we're actually going to have a nicer game than it looked uh, at, uh, at the beginning because it really looked like uh, we had no chance of uh, winning it or at least it's gonna be a tough game but then just look at this assist I mean <laughs> these are the types of assists that never come through uh, but this one did so it was time to actually just uh, kind of spark our offense and just uh, kind of show the other guys how the dunking is done and LeBron seemed to listen because uh, we had our first uh, LU from him and the first dunk from him as you can see I we are already in the second quarter and I only have one rebound and one block I, well I haven't shown you that block because it was nothing <laughs> it was the one of those blocks that actually the game thinks it was a block but I was standing in the right spot so the opposing uh, player just like bombed the ball into my body or something like that but my scoring was alright uh, just like this one so it was like my third dunk or something like that so by the way at this stage in the game I was uh, focusing on my dunking for the highlight uh, film signature skills so I was improving that I was I believe around 80 dunk uh, at this uh, at this stage 
so just note that uh, when I first saw or when I saw my uh, first uh, contact dunk and <laughs> there was no shortage of other types of dunks of course again uh, a nice uh, like my fourth dunk in the game or something like that and uh, getting close to the second uh, and the, I mean the end of the second quarter we were already up by uh, 12 of course uh, the shot clock cheese uh, came into play, so they had a, a three pointer. But then I decided, what the hell, let's start uh, cherry picking. <laughs> and what a nice closeout, or what a nice uh, closing of the uh, first half. Again, a spectacular dunk from me, just uh, almost a buzzer beater. So if the game cheats, then I cheat. But don't hate me, because I'm beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> so we finished the first half with the 11 points uh, lead and as you can see actually if you play against the Knicks you will notice and they also mention it actually in the in this halftime report I mean you will not hear it but you will see it that Raymond Felton is one of the key players for the uh, New York Knicks most of the time because of his three-point shooting now in this game and this is where they uh, start showing it uh, Felton didn't really hit his shots I mean he attempted them all right but uh, he didn't really hit anything well, basically I believe he hit nothing actually up to this point and that was the key uh, to the game from uh, our part because uh, yeah, and just look at this again. Bam. So Raymond Felton didn't really play that well, and that was enough. Uh, and just look at this. This is one of the kind of bugs in the game. I mean, what a nice vertical display off the back of uh, the referee. So you know, I have to show you another another video of that nice dunk. So uh, and just look at that. Again, a nice block. I actually had a nice performance with the uh, points and a nice performance with the blocks as well, but my rebounding was really below par. Uh, as you can see, I'm already only at uh, three rebounds. And one another, another reason to worry or for worry in this match was that uh, at halftime uh, Mello was at four points so that's a clear indication that something really bad is about to happen in the second in the second half of the game because he's supposed to be averaging around 20 points and another block by the way so it was pretty obvious that Mello is going to have a beastly second part or second half the game uh, so I again had to step up with a nice fadeaway just to kind of compensate for that and uh, really had to put in effort and just like that one even the uh, here is another rebounding tip for you if <laughs> never give up like I said in my rebounding tips so if you miss well everybody misses shots but uh, don't forget about uh, still going after after the rebound and a really ugly assist from my part, but uh, anyway, uh, we managed to actually increase uh, the lead. Well, not at this point, because again, GR Smith uh, at 21 points. So we are now, uh, our lead is only 9 points, or well, 7 points, now it's 9 points. Uh, so it's actually less than what it was in the, in the or at half time. But our efforts started to pay off. Again, a nice block uh, on Mello on his fadeaway, and then just kind of teaching him how to do a proper fadeaway. So this is when uh, uh, the game started to look really uh, like bright. Then we now increased our lead to 12 points in the beginning of the fourth quarter. Now it's 14 points. Some Flashy passing also started happening and uh, luckily my teammates started to shoot jump shots which is again a good sign 
uh, meaning that the game is actually not bogged. Or at least this match is not bogged. So now we are up to almost 20 points. And actually at this point, uh, of course, that means that uh, the match or the game is uh, almost guaranteed to win. So, uh, this is uh, when I started to relax, of course, Mallow uh, with a nice, actually really nice uh, layup. But, you know, nothing is nicer than a dunk. Uh, to answer back and to kind of break their momentum, if they had any. So, after this point, uh, the match uh, or the game was really won. Uh, yeah, just a few uh, nice uh, rebounding efforts. You could see that uh, they were uh, starting to get uh, fatigued towards uh, the end of uh, the fourth quarter, of course. So we are now up uh, 22. They tried everything again, of course. JR Smith uh, for a nice uh, three pointer. Actually, all three point uh, shooters in the game, of course always shoot uh, like uh, above 20 points but uh, even that was not enough so we came away with an almost 20 point uh, uh, win I became player of the game like I said my uh, scoring uh, and uh, actually my uh, blocking performance was nice my dunking was really nice I mean I liked it at least but uh, rebounding uh, was only seven so I only got to seven rebounds which again goes to show that uh, it's not only about rebounding, so all of you who are worried that you don't get enough rebounds, the point is uh, to get the win. So we are now tied in the first round of uh, the playoffs, 3-0, uh, so now comes the all deciding uh, seventh game. Uh, actually, I got like uh, 600 uh, points, as you can see, JR Smith leading. Uh, Mello finished actually with 19 points, so he scored 15 in the second half. And here is a quick uh, look at uh, our performance, and uh, I hope to see you next time.